Hello my friends, welcome back to Craft Hoarder on YouTube. We are back, we are back with another unboxing. And if you haven't been here before, let me just introduce us and say, hey, this channel is about all things crafty, but I have ADHD, so I hyperfixate on things. The current hyperfixation is diamond painting. Yes, very, very into diamond painting right now. So this time around, we are going to be unboxing another Chuck Pinson. Yay, so excited about this. Uh, this is from Diamond Art Club. It is a square kit. You can tell by the square on the front of the box. If it's a round kit, we will get a circle here instead of a square here. This is called Life Above the Fray by Chuck Pinson. And Diamond Art Club, they have a scan code that you can get 10% off your next order on every box. Um, their branding on the outside of the packaging, instructions. Um, yeah, that's about it. So let's dive in. I already took the cellophane off because I didn't want to annoy anybody with the crinkly sound. I don't like the crinkly sound and it's going to be bad enough with these drills. So let's just dive right in here. First, we have the toolkit and a little log sticker. Now these say that you can put them on the outside of the box um, for storage. I like my stickers. <laughs> And I keep my stickers for my books. Um, it would be nice if they included another piece on the outside of the box somewhere. But they do have this in there, so I can't complain too much, right? And get this out. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Okay, so I keep all of my stuff in its original packaging. That's how I have storage. Um, just because I have limited storage space and that's what works for me. So I'm very careful with all of my packaging. Uh, I will open this in just a moment. We are going to start with the toolkit. Okay, so mini log sticker gives you all the details. This is a square diamond painting. It is 93 by 70 centimeters, which equates to 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches. So this is another very large canvas. Um, it's probably going to take me months, but... I have a thing about massive canvases. I love them. Um, that kind of seems to be what I lean towards doing. So even though I don't have very many finished pieces, I have a lot of very large canvases. Um, okay, so in our toolkit, there we go. Every toolkit is basically going to have the same stuff in it. It might, it won't be the same designs. Um, this is a square kit, so we're going to get some deadly tweezers. I like the flat ends for prying things open. Um, they're pretty sturdy for that. And these front ends are super sharp. Like you can see the lines it's leaving on the skin. Like that's how sharp it, they are. They're, ooh, these ones are like really, really sharp. <laughs> Um, these may, are great for like picking off a drill that got placed in the wrong direction or if you're like me with little kids that don't like to wear shoes, picking splinters out of the toes. Um, every kit is going to come with a pen and a squishy. They're not always going to color coordinate, but look at that. I think this is the first black one that I've gotten from them. That's kind of cool. Like black. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a black person at heart, you know, goth, uh, at heart, not like actual goth or emo or anything, but I love the aesthetic. Um, they also include reusable, resealable Ziploc baggies. Um, these are a thicker plastic. Um, I have a few budget kits that came from like Timu and Amazon and places like that, that they also include plastic baggies, but their baggies are super thin. Um, these are a much better quality. So I do appreciate that because it makes them more user friendly. Um, you're also gonna get your wax, which is for Diamond Art Club, their signature wax is always heart-shaped in a little heart-shaped caddy, which is super cute. You get two pats that are like ultra thick. Ultra thick, man. Um, peel back the plastic before you try to load your pen. There is plastic on both sides. If you don't peel it, it won't load. You're going to get frustrated and squish your wax. Uh, these are the thickness of like two regular wax squares. So like in reality, you probably have like four wax pads there. Um, so super thick, really nice. 
cute little heart shape theme that they do. And that's going to be in every toolkit. Now, the pen and the squishy are also going to be in every toolkit, but the color is going to change. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, the other thing that is going to be in every toolkit is they give you multi-placers with every toolkit. Um, they like to give you a four-placer and a seven-placer, I believe. Yeah, seven. And Diamond Art Kit is really nice. And labels, I don't know if I can catch it in this lighting. Let's see here. Let's see if I can... Get it to reflect or something anyway on there it is right there okay so each plastic piece is labeled with whatever number it picks up so this is your seven piece and this is your four piece multi-placer so if you like multi-placing or you want to give it a try there you go those fit right in the other end of your little pen there um they also include a cover minder. This one happens to be a strawberry and all the cover minders and washi tapes are gonna be different in every kit, just like the pens. There's no guarantee that you will get this particular cover minder. Whoops, but it's cute. And I don't have the strawberry one yet, so that's a new to me one. Um, it's cute, I like it, little fun thing. They could have put this in their strawberry shortcake kit and that would have made a lot of sense, but it's cute. I like it. Um, they also include washi tape. Sometimes they match, sometimes they don't. In this particular case, they don't really match. I mean, yeah, there's red in this and there's red in the cover minder, but this is like poppies and that's a strawberry. So it doesn't really match. Um, and they don't give you any guarantee that it's going to. They also include a tray with a stopper so you can put your drills in, put your stopper in, shake it. It's not gonna go out the top. Um, and then when you're ready to pour back into your containers or your bags or whatever it is that you paint out of, you can take the stopper out, pour it in. Um, these are nice trays. They got a good, a good ridge in there. So it, whoops, it divides quite nicely. Um, there it is. I had to find that stopper because I don't want my two-year-old picking it up and trying to swallow it um so yeah that's that's their toolkit um now we are going to move into this so they all come with this uh i guess you call it like a dust cover yeah like a, a a dust cover like something you would get like on a poster but it's it's a thicker plastic so it can be reusable but you have to be kind of gentle with it and again i really i store everything in its original packaging so i do try to be a little careful with opening these because i don't want to rip the bag up it makes it easier to go back into the box and everything sit nicely on my shelf. Um, so we're just going to set that off to the side. And pull out the insides. Woo, all kinds of stuff falling out there. Okay, let's start with that. Okay, so here is your little thanks for your purchasing it's got some tips and tricks in there what's included and um, basic instructions a uh, link to their VIP Facebook group so if you go there then you can um, uh, get some other helpful tips tips um, communicate with other like-minded individuals um, they also have a purchase code coupon code that gives you 10% off your next purchase and you can download um, their app they do have an app that you can purchase through and your very first purchase through the app is going to save you 20% um, if you use the coupon code um, they also have I think I forgot to mention this last time I unboxed one of those but they also have a rewards program so if you have never done a diamond art club painting then um make sure you sign up for their rewards program um they do give you uh, a, a percentage back um points back um it's i think it's like one dollar for every dollar spent in it's like one reward point for like every dollar spent something like that um 
the higher up in their tiers that you go, the more each dollar is worth, the more points you earn with each dollar. And they give you, um, every tier gets birthday points. So I recently had a birthday. Um, I just ordered a painting with some points where I saved $50 off of a painting. Um, so yeah, it, it's worth it to sign up. Um, you get coupon codes and all kinds of stuff. So there's fun little perks there. Um, so be sure to sign up for their rewards program if you haven't already done so. Okay, so moving on. This is the Logwood, can't talk words, uh, log book sticker sheet. Um, for those of you that keep a log book, you have the title of the painting, which is Life Above the Fray, the artist, which is Chuck Pinson, start date, end date, um, size information down here and then you have your inventory sticker so each diamond color has a coordinating sticker you can use these to put on your containers or your bags or however you choose to do it um, these stickers peel off when you're done quite easily if there's any residue left behind just rub a little rubbing alcohol on it it'll come off um, look at that beautiful artwork isn't that pretty Oh, I'm excited to look at this canvas because this artwork is really pretty. There's a lot going on in here. So this is going to be, uh, it's a Chuck Pinson, so it's going to automatically be heavy confetti. Um, so if you're not a confetti lover, I don't recommend Chuck. But if you do like confetti, Chuck Pinson. Um, so they store, blah, 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 rewind, back up. Okay, uh, sorry. So if you if you store your drills separately from your canvases, um, they do have a information sticker on the outside of their drill bags. So you can easily match up your drills with the canvas if you store things separately. I store everything together in the original packaging, but not everybody does that. So just in case you do, if you, if you are one of those that store separately, there is that, um, which is nice. Then we are going to open these up and take a look. And I also forgot to mention, so Diamond Art Club uses DMC codes, which is, you know, the color numbers uh, pretty, it's like the standard color numbers across the board for every company. Um, there's a few that don't use DMC codes and those are going to be more in your budget kits or in your art dot kits or diamond dot kits. Um, they have their own numbering system, but they do use DMC codes. Um, diamond art club, however, anything that's below 150 is going to be an AB drill. So 106 and 110, those are both going to be AVs. And then they have letters that they put in front of their, the letter Z that they put in front of their fairy dress dust drills. So this painting has two ABs and two fairy dust. Um, so there's not a lot of special drills in this one, which is fine. I mean, sometimes it's kind of nice to have a, a plainer picture, but there is four of them. And we are gonna take a look and see if we can find those four. Um, we're not gonna go through all of the drills because, I mean, really, when you've seen one, you've seen them all. Um, but. Diamond Art Club, this is squares. I love their squares. They have excellent quality squares and um, they just fit together really nicely. And I have a work in progress that I will show you. Actually, I have a, I'll, I'll, I have another video up with another Chuck Pinson unboxing that I have a work in progress that's their squares that you can take a look at. Um, so another tip. For those of you just kind of starting out, or maybe you haven't thought of this before, but I save these bags so that when I am kidding up, I can cut my bag open, dump my drills out, and then throw my trash in these little plastic baggies that the drills came in. And then when I'm all done being kit up, I can just fold this over, the glue holds it all in, it's in one bundle, toss it in the bin, and it's got a built-in trash can for kidding up. Um, that's kind of how I look at it. So, just a little tip. If you're interested I am saving this because again original packaging um, okay so here is an AB right off of the bat 
Now, AB is a special coating that gets its name from Aurora Borealis, so AB, right? Um, and it just gives these drills like an extra little shine. It's got an extra sparkle to it. Um, some of Diamond Art Club's drills that are AB kind of have a weird smell to them. Uh, from the last I heard, they are looking into that. Um, but it's part of the manufacturing process. So if you do happen to smell a weird smell coming out of your drills, um, you're not alone and you're not crazy. Uh, they're working on fixing that so that their drills don't have that weird smell. And it's not all drills. It's just some drills and it's only in the ABs. So, but it's only some of them. So if you smell it, it's it's normal. Like <laughs> don't panic. Your house isn't burning down. It does kind of have resemble a, a burnt wire smell. Um, but you're not burning down. It's it's just it's your drills and it's not it's not super strong for most people. I have like a superhuman nose, so for me it's it's kind of gross <laughs> when I get those that have that. Um, it is kind of gross for me. But that's only because like I can smell really really well um so there's a lot of neutral colors in this kit and a large amount of them so this is this is a lot of colors how many colors do we have in this kit so we have 55 colors so this is there there's going to be a lot of each color um I'm going to have to be careful how I kit this up and which storage system I decide to use to kit this up in because there's a lot of drills here. Um, I believe this painting has over 100,000, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it's over 100,000 total drills. Um, here is the other AB, which is this really pretty pink, red, coral color. Um, really pretty but you can see that extra sparkly coating um, compared to their regular drills, which are also very, very sparkly, but they're the regular drills. Um, I think I mentioned it a minute ago that uh, their, their, their drill quality is like phenomenal. Um, in the square drills, they really can't be beat. Um, there's a few companies that come close, Dreamer Design, Oraloa, uh, Evermoment, those come close, but they just, they're so uniform. They're so uniform and so clean, and they just, they click together almost when you're doing your painting um, in just such a, a, a lovely way. Um, I see if I can show you. So this is their squares off of another painting of theirs that I'm doing. And there's like hardly any gapping. They just sit super closely together. Um, very, very sparkly. Um, but a beautiful, beautiful fit. So that's their squares. And they're just, they're really amazing to work with. I love Diamond Art Club squares. Um, Probably some of my favorite squares on the market, to be honest. Um, let's see if we can find those fairy dust ones uh, before we move on to the canvas tour. Uh, let's see. We are looking for a letter Z. And da -da 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 -da. here's one right here. So Z3865, so the Z means it's a fairy dust drill. And the fairy dust is kind of newer, but it's just like this beautiful fine glitter coating that gives them kind of a, a subtle, a subtle glitz. Um, it's not real pronounced. It's there. It's not real pronounced. It adds to like the highlighting features, um, but it's just a, it's a really pretty, pretty coating. Um, 
You know what an ultimate like dream would be? Would be to do a painting in all fairy dust. Like that would be cool. Now that would be a cool painting. I would I would buy one of those paintings. Um, just glancing through, there it is, right there. Okay, so the other one is this really pretty olive olive green fairy dust that's just this very subtle glitter to it um but you can see like through the packaging there's like there's hardly any stack of static in these they're all very very uniform um i don't know how they do it but they are very uniform they fit together so nicely and they're just, they're a dream to work with. If you have not worked with a square canvas that's a Diamond Dart Club and you've decided that you don't like squares because you've worked with a company like that's maybe not that great a quality, please don't knock squares completely off of your trying list until you try a Diamond Dart Club one because they have some of the best squares on the market. Um, of course, you're paying extra for them, but it, it's worth it. Um, so I'm just going to set these off to the side because I'm going to reorganize them back into the original packaging. Um, and let's start by unrolling this canvas. Okay, so this is a very large canvas. Um, I'm going to try to get it all in frame. We'll see if I can manage that. Um, but we're going to start by rolling it backwards just to kind of help it lay a little bit flatter. And it's a poured glued canvas. Diamond Art Club uses only poured glued canvases, so all of their canvases are gonna be poured glue and they are safe to roll backwards and it is a very high quality poured glue. Um, you can move drills if you need to. Um, they're not like permanently stuck, but it's also permanent enough that um, they're not going to fall off your canvas once they've been set on there for an extended period of time. Um, so I am peeling back the cover sheet so that it helps the canvas kind of release whatever tension was put into it um, during manufacturing and shipping. And it just kind of helps the canvas relax so that it lays a little bit flatter and maybe rolls a little nicer. Um, but that helps relieve any bubbles or creases or anything like that. So you can see that side is laying flatter except for that corner that seems to want to pop up a little bit. Um, these are self-flattening canvases, so the longer that stays out, it, the flatter it's going to get. And also, as soon as you start putting drills on, it immediately flattens out. Um, and Diamond Art Club uses a unique canvas. Um, it's not a short length canvas, it's actually a velvet canvas. Um, if there's, there's some similar feeling ones on the market, but they actually have a patent on this particular canvas type so um it's it's never going to be exactly the same um it took me a long time to realize i was never going to get a duplicate of this material canvas from another company because of they have a patent and power to them right like it's a really good quality though it's super super soft it, it really is like working with velvet it's surged really well all the way around um malleable sturdy um just overall like really awesome to work with um they have the legend on both sides of their canvas so that no matter which direction you are working on it you have a reference point um that's somewhat close and convenient for you now let's just stop and admire this like how freaking pretty is that like, that is just gorgeous. You've got your sunset. You've got your pirate ship. Look, Well, your sailing ship. It's not a pirate ship, but it's a sailing ship. Um, your sea, your cottage, gazebo. There's a little barn over there. Rowboat here. 
the rocks. I mean, just gorgeous artwork. I love this. And again, this is by Chuck Pinson, um, which I think he might be an exclusive artist to Diamond Art Club. I'm not real sure. Okay, so things are about to get wobbly because I am going to try to give you a full view that is not crooked and I apologize for the movement. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you seasick. I'm just trying to get it all in frame so you can see just how gorgeous that really is. Like that is beautiful. What a beautiful canvas. Okay. Let's put you back. So sorry, um, probably just made so many of you so seasick and I, I do apologize for that. Um, okay, so let's take a closer look at this. I am going to first start by doing a glue test. I talked about the glue briefly, but we are going to do a glue test. I peel off one corner and then just, wow. Yeah, that's definitely sticky glue. <laughs> Definitely sticky glue. Um, you're gonna have zero problems with stick on there. Um, your drills should not be popping off at all. If there is any problem with any kind of kit, they do have a lifetime warranty. Um, I've never had to use Diamond Art Club's warranty. I've had to use uh, other people's warranties um, only because like I've dumped all of my drills on the floor. Um, but I've never, I have yet, knock on wood, to do that with a Diamond Art Club. So I have not used their warranty yet. But they do have a lifetime warranty. So if you have a mishap or the canvas is like not sticky or whatever, you can contact them and they will take care of you. Uh, I have to pause for just a second. That was my kid screaming. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So sorry about that. Uh, I think it might have been a nightmare. Not real sure. I think I got him settled down. Um, but I'm going to kind of rush through the last little bit of this, uh, the last tour of this, because I want to make sure that they're not just going to sit in there and cry. So the symbols on the canvas are incredibly clear. Um... They're also, especially with this particular artist, uh, very confetti heavy. Uh, confetti means um, lots of color changes in a small area. Um, he does have a bit more color blocking in this particular canvas. You can see all of those ones right in here. That would be color blocking um, where it's like a large amount of the same color in an area. Um, that's what's considered color blocking so there is some color blocking in this canvas there's a lot of confetti though um but not as much as the other one i unboxed actually um so that's kind of different he's still pretty confetti he heavy though um so just be mindful of, of that if you do not like confetti a lot of confetti then i would stay away from chuck pinson um just in my personal experience, there's been a lot of confetti in his canvases. So, and he uses a lot of different colors in his artwork, which is why. Um, but this does have quite a bit of color blocking up here in the sky. Um, so there's lots of large areas with the same color. So those will make those go by very quickly. Um, For me, I like confetti because it gives me a lot of uh, changes, keeps me occupied and interested, but I do like color blocking to make it move quicker. So that sky bit will definitely be much quicker than like the roof <laughs> or the barn. So that'll be, that'll be a nice bit. Um, Beautiful artwork though. Uh, just the rendering on this canvas is just wonderful. Um, I'm so sorry for the glare. Let's I try to, there we go. Maybe if I just hold it just like that, we can block out some of that glare so you can get a good 
clear picture of it, but I think um, I'm gonna call it right here. Uh, I think I hear somebody getting upset, so we've gotten a good clear uh, look at this. Um, bye everyone, uh, stay safe, be cool, be kind, peace out.